Hey, how you doing? It's Mel. So in this video, what I want to do is show my clients who are using the Easy Video Player installation on the ScreencastingWizard.com website uh, how to create one of these cool little uh, light boxes. So here's what I'm talking about. So in this, I just created a sample page here on my website. If you notice, there's a little icon here, and if this was a little bit darker, I probably should have used a different thumbnail, but there's actually a little triangle uh, a little play triangle there that overlays this little uh, icon so it's such that when a user clicks it it brings up a cool little light box and it auto plays but you can actually do this also in easy video player and it's all done uh, easily from your control panel so let me show you how to do that what we're going to do is in previous videos I already showed you how to uh, find files in your easy video player control panel so here's the LinkedIn overview which is the one that we were just looking at there okay so what we're gonna do is in the edit we're gonna edit the settings of a video that you've already uploaded and just it's actually very easy to configure this so okay so this is all just for training purposes here I'm gonna go ahead and configure my video just do some real quick settings changes here which you already learned how to do all of this in previous videos so the part that's specific to the light box is one thing you're going to need is a little thumbnail uh, which you saw was that little image that you clicked which is this one here which you can easily do that using any screen capture program or even on your Windows uh, machine or on your Mac machine there's many screen capture programs you probably want to keep it at about 200 width and uh, and you know something very small for the users to click although it can be as big as you want it to be as well what we're gonna do though so we'll assume that we've already created that thumbnail it's somewhere on your hard drive uh, for you to load up and what we're gonna do here is load my video in a light box right down here simple as choosing that setting in the choose file segment you just pick the file and wherever your light box is you navigate to that click it and then if you want to display that little graphic which is that triangle play triangle over your video and just click yes and I usually like to do that and that really that's about it that's all there is to it now there is something here I'm going to purposefully not select and that is this autoplay selection here because I want to show you something uh, that's a little bonus on top of all of this that you may not know about yet with your installation for now I'm gonna go ahead and save this and what you'll see in this particular instance is now there is actually gonna be two sets of code but it'll actually tell you exactly what you need to do so you would use this set if you want to use just a regular uh, embed that ends up looking like this up here inside your website or if you actually want to use the code for your light box right you would use this one down here all right it actually generates a second set for you so let's go ahead and copy that and all I'm going to do now is create a new page let's say just to show you for grins and giggles so let's say sample page 2 and now I've got the easy video player plugin here which you can easily get from um, uh, it's free as a WordPress installation uh, but if you don't have that you can easily go into your HTML view and paste the code right in there now WordPress has this thing where it strips it tends to strip these things out uh, if you go back into visual mode and then you go back into HTML mode actually it didn't this time around but um, but in any case what you want to do is uh, glue that in there in the HTML mode or use your your easy video player plugin and then just paste that in there and then once you're done we'll just go ahead and save this puppy off we'll publish it of course you'll save all of your other blog settings and so on right and then let's take a look at it we'll view the page all right and there it is right there so obviously the rest of your blog site would would then you would populate the rest of uh, you know whatever your whatever your article is all about but then when your users then click on the little thumbnail it pops up in the light box now there was remember when we did not select that autoplay notice how it's not autoplaying right now and so your user would actually have to click again in order for then for that video to start playing what I want to show you actually is pretty slick is we're not going to edit this code anymore on our website one thing you can actually do is you can make these settings changes directly in your easy video player panel and no matter where this thumbnail is embedded on either this website or you could have 10 websites or you could have friends that also embedded your same code onto their website you would just actually need to make the change in one location and it'll automatically propagate to wherever that video is embedded into so let me show you how that's done 
So on the back end here, we'll just make one easy setting in our control panel, which is to take that same video that we were already working with, and I'm just going to say autoplay here. We'll just make it uh, autoplay, or you can also change the light box, uh, trigger image if you want, change any of these other parameters uh, once you've saved it here. Boom, it's automatically going to propagate to all of your other videos. Notice what we're not, what I'm not, for instance, notice what I'm not doing here is I'm not going to recopy this code and make an edit into my blog site. So I'm not doing that. All I'm going to do is just go to the front end of the website here. Remember when we played this earlier, it came up and did not autoplay. I'm just going to refresh it just to show you that uh, we didn't make any other changes to the settings on the blog site. But now uh, we just made one setting change in the control panel and then um, we saved it there. And so when your user comes here, it automatically propagates. Notice it auto plays now. All right. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you on uh, that particular functionality, which is how to create a light box using the Easy Video Player plugin. And again, this is for my clients. Glad again that you're here and uh, thanks for, uh, uh, for being my client. Take care.